Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Sampson and I'll be talking about the importance and the benefits of having a dog. Um, the huge benefits that are having a dog is ease your loneliness that you have, um, reduce that stress and that anxiety, you get unconditional love all of the time, hopefully if he's not a stinky dog and is loves you, <laughs> um, you can get that exercise outside, everything, emotional support. Um, I know the biggest thing is during COVID, the pandemic, when we were in lockdown, no one really was getting out and getting that air that they needed. Um, fortunately, when we have those dogs, you have to get outside and get that air. You can, during the day, during night, whenever you, your dog gets that, gets that exercise and you do as well, which is perfect for us, especially for a time like that, you have that dog, um, especially with people that weren't living with other people, they have the dog with them that they can be with. Um, which was huge. Another huge thing with dogs is alerting. So that brings us into service dogs. So what a service dog is, is a dog that helps people with disabilities. That could be anything. And it could be, um, helps people with those disabilities gain more independence with life. Um, some of these examples are if you have a wheelchair or if you're blind or if you're a veteran anything you can name it so say if you're blind um, it'd be a dog right next to you guiding you through the streets um, if you're a wounded warrior or a veteran you might have PTSD and that dog can help you um, relieve like help stress of course um, these dogs do go through special training so what you need a amount of training it is um, it could be any kind of dog it can be little small fat little doesn't even matter uh, another big part of these emotional support dogs is diabetes um, they can tell you if you have a high or a low I know I saw something on TikTok where if a person put their hand out and they have diabetes this means a low when their snoot goes under and this means a high when the dog goes above and she would check on her little monitor and saw what it was and if he was right of course because usually the dog is right and somehow they know that um, the dog got a treat to know. Another big thing with the service dogs is when you're in public and you see these dogs, I highly don't recommend not saying hi to them or yelling their name if their name is on their badge or if, if you're yelling dog, dog, dog or whatever. Um, this will distract them if they're on high alert of their owner or it will mess something up. Um, a lot of the times you have to ask the owner and and ask if it's okay to pet the dog. Um, usually it is, sometimes it's not, of course, if they're working hard. Uh, a recent study shows from Purdue University College um, how dog, service dogs can measurable positive effects on the health and the well-being of individuals with physical disabilities. Um, this is huge. There's a huge science behind service dogs, which is amazing. It's so cool how a dog can know when you're stressed. I definitely know when my dog knows when I'm stressed, he'll give me all the love that I need, which is super cool. He's a German Shepherd, which is pretty cool. Um, speaking of German Shepherds, a huge, huge thing is canines. Um, so there is a canine dog. Um, what they are is a, it's a dog that is with usually a police unit. Um, there's not a lot of canine police units around if you know, live in like small town areas um, because they do cost anywhere from fifteen to thirty thousand dollars these dogs cost so much because of all of the extensive training that they do typically they are German Shepherds it could be labs it could be golden retrievers um, kind of more of like the mental dogs like the mental breeds oh Malmas is a huge one this ties into dogs like in the military kind of like the same thing they'll sniff out bombs in the ground they can sniff out if there's bombs in someone's bag if there's drugs in someone's bag for instance if you're going to the airport and you're walking around and you see like a canine with the police they're just seeing if there's something in your bag and they can smell that there's it's pretty cool i remember going to orlando one time which was this was terrifying is i was in line and what you do is you line up and there'll be a police officer with their dog and she got the dog and went up and down and then you were free to pass which 
I've only had that done one time, which I don't know if they had a scare or something. Um, that was terrifying. Let me tell you that. Um, so canine unit dogs. I actually originally went with firefighters, surprisingly. Um, a long time ago, firefighters used them as dogs to smell out a fire before it even happened, which is pretty cool. Crazy to think about. Um, which is huge. I know a big thing is when, oh, I believe it was some of them wanted when he was found, a German Shepherd found him, which was in the canine unit, was beautiful. Love it. Um, so canines can be a huge, huge, huge part to our society. Um, they can help with anything. Uh, California State University, they have a huge canine unit, which is, because it's a huge university, you kind of have to be a lookout more. Um, one of the coffer states says that they're just like any other dog when they're home to a certain extent. Um, they still have that mentality of that they have to work. Um, I mean, considering that they're fifteen to thirty thousand dollars, they should have that mentality still, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, all of these just tie into the benefits of having a dog. A dog is a man's best friend. And that's all I can say. But thank you so much for listening. Bye.